right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in it's a world over, of JK. trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 174 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, Grandmaster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times, obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. All right, single collar time now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. How good is that right hand? Wow, huge head kick. Oh, big left. Oh, nice right hand. No, oh, huge right hand. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Good punch, Land. 
Oh, nice. Nice. How about that shin? Straight right is there. Just over three minutes to go. to establish that jab once again. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, man. Big elbow there. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. And there comes the separation now. Look at him chop the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. That leg kick. Single collar tie now. Checks that leg kick. And they clinch once again. Oh, that right hand is on point. Big leg kick land. 
got to whip his hip into that kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job of locking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. There's no tell on that leg kick. Again, back into this position. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, nice. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Three minutes to go. Big leg kick lands. Great punch. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. All right, single collar tie now. There. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, big elbow. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Straight punch lands. Watch these to the body. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Right hand punch to the clinch. Let's go, do something. And they separate. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Nice loop of punch. Collar tie, and they separate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting. Oh, huge right hand. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big knee there. Checks the leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Go! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have Whoa! to admire the approach. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hit this. What a round. So a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Third round underway. Punch over the top. 
Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Right hand good on the count. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Beautiful punch. Nice combination there. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid... Oh, big knee! Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. We go back inside the octagon to the veteran voice once more. He is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 30 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.